see Dwayne Haskins and the Washington football team taking on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Well, we've had spotty showers since about 7 a.m. here in D.C., and the radar indicates it's going to continue, but nothing to stop football from happening at FedEx Field. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington football team. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaudin. And Charles, we look at this Washington team as they enter play here. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. And last week, they... the first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? This taken in about four yards deep. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. As we get a peek at their dynamic signal caller hailing from Mississippi State, it's Dak Prescott. Well, he did go 2-2 two and two in the last ball game. Well, actually, he went 2-2-1, two, two and one, with the 1 being the victory. Yeah. That's the bottom line there. But wasn't it funny at practice? He, he threw one when we were watching, threw an interception, and the defense got on him a little <laughs> bit, good-naturedly. But they're letting him know, you got to cut down those interceptions. We can't bail you out all the time. Yeah, two touchdowns, two picks. But as you said, they got the win in that effort last week. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. This is Elliott. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Elliott. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. On second and 11 now. Prescott. Quick hitter here. It's complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does. And the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read figured out where the blitz was coming from and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Give to Ezekiel Elliott. He was taken down by Ruben Foster. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. At the Broken tackle. Line. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. It's 35. 
Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. First down, Elliott, and down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Ten more there, and another first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. The give is to Elliott. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Elliott, toss right. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. He was taken down by Ruben Foster. A gain of a yard. Third and short yardage. Prescott. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Out comes Washington here offensively, and their man under center, Dwayne Haskins, the number 15 pick out of Ohio State in 2019. And his stat line last week, that's not going to get him to the Pro Bowl. All right, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but they won. And so the bottom line for him is team won, managed the game effectively, led them to victory. He's doing all the right things. And they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Down at his own six-yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second. On second seven. down, it's Taylor. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Taylor. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight-ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15, first and 10. Now it's Haskins. But despite a little sizzle on the move, he still tackled shy of the 20. Complete to In a word, I would say productive, finding the end zone three different times. Is it possible that you're really underselling it? Three touchdowns, she's going to call productive? Right. What do you want? This guy had a nose for the end zone. He was good. Had a snoop full, didn't he? How about that? Big time game. Throwing again on second down. Haskins. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Jalen Smith, give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely, four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles, but also when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. On third down, here's Taylor. And he'll go down for a loss inside his own five at the four. Taylor, tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. 
Here's Tressway now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there. A 46-yard punt, four-yard return. And possession will switch hands first and ten. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. Last week, over 100 yards, three touchdowns. We were talking with him on the field before the game. He said simply, I was in a groove. He obviously was. And I think he's been a little modest about that, being in a groove. That's a big-time game right there. And I think he feels like his entire team is coming along with him because they're creating spaces and holes for him to run through. He's making people miss, running through tackles. They are locked in in a big way and confident about this game as well. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. It's 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They'll run with Elliott. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Chase Young in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. The competition comes up in so many different ways, and right now, this unit, their competition is who's going to get to the quarterback the most times. That's about five sacks last week. We just saw their first one of this game. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Now Prescott. He'll find his tight end. It's Adam Troutman. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Here's Dustin Hopkins now to try the field goal. This one from 48 yards away. And it is good. Oh, that one looked to be in trouble the whole way, but it does get over the bar. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So a good kick there. They put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the throw. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Back to Taylor on first down. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Haskins. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. 
Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They've gone two months without a loss. Eight straight wins for them. And they've got the lead here in this one as well. Trying to make it nine in a row. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 36-yard line. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. On second down now. It's Elliott, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He was taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Throwing. Prescott drops it underneath to Elliott. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And this is a guy who last week not only helped his real team, but really helped a lot of fantasy teams. Three trips to pay dirt. They've got to contain it. And watching him play is like going to lunch with you when you order that combo plate, right? In this case, his combo plate is he can go over the top of you and catch it, catch it in front, turn it into a big game, run past you, and then uses his size and his physical abilities to keep you away from the football. Hard to defend this guy. Raining. NFC Offensive Player of the Week. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. The tackle made at the 47-yard line. A gain of a yard. On second down. It's Elliott. Looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Ruben Foster. No gain on the play. Brings up third. Prescott from the gun on third. Flushed out right. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. Nothing after one on EA Sports. Cowboys three, Washington nothing. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Credit the sack to Shaquem Griffin. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott to the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And it's third down from the shotgun. It's Prescott. Open man lamb. It's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, 
the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. From the red zone now, Prescott. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. Prescott's pass. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Prescott now to the end zone, but it's incomplete. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Leads to second and goal. Now Elliott, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott on the carry. Ezekiel Elliott, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-zip. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. He'll take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. Haskins on third down, and that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Results. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And now the putter, Tressway, as he sends this one away. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Over the middle, complete. It's Ramsey. And yeah, they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. Again to Elliott. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. It's a gain of four. 
And it's, they'll try to run for it with Elliott. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. He was tackled. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll result in a fresh set of downs. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott looking deep in the direction of Coop. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A, gain of a very nice pickup of 33 yards. That's just flat out a beautiful throw right there. It was a rope. That's maybe the speed you would see on a slant, but he threw that downfield with that kind of pace. Now, if he throws that one with any type of arc, puts a little air under it, that play doesn't happen. He had to fire it in there, and he did exactly that. Prescott looks to throw on first. A dump off to Elliott. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, that's not exactly how they drew that one up, nor practiced it, because on first down, you're trying to get some yardage to set up second and third down calls. In this case, had to drop it off to his running back. But boy, they closed quickly on that one and stopped him behind the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, and this is caught. It's Cooper. Prescott. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And again, it's Prescott. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. Prescott's pass. Amari Cooper, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. That is on the return. Washington takes over first and 10. And a look at Washington as they come onto the field. And this not an easy situation. You're down early in the elements. You're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. 
and that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back, the other way you have to regroup and he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46 it's a seven yard gain there and it's good enough to move the chains i think they like this drive a little bit better there partner running game helping out picking up some of the slack because remember the last drive they went three and out So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. They run with Taylor. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Here's Haskins out of the gun. He'll get that one to Taylor complete. And the ball is free. Taylor lost it. That's picked up by the Cowboys. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. And maybe that one caused by the weather. Of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you can, and it's such a delicate balance, too, because when you grip it so tight, sometimes it'll slip out from your body. You squeeze it too hard, and it'll pop out on its own. I've actually had running backs talk to me about that, that when they've tried too hard, even in perfect conditions, the ball gets away from them. They've got to find that good balance, carrying it firmly, yet at the same time under control. He was Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. It's second and inches. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That second down play nets a minus four. Made the quick throw there outside the numbers, and you can feel the thought process. They just wanted to get in his hands and let him make a play. But how about the job they did defensively to keep him bottled up? Instead, they tackle him for a loss. The Cowboys on third down. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This is third and four. Prescott from the gun. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a gain of they get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Seven yards on the play, and that'll make it second down. Oh, that last pass CD, he just added another notch to the old belt. What a career it's been. He's over 35,000 career passing yards now. And when you say that number, over 35,000 yards, how many people have done that prior to him? Right around 30. Boy, that's a and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. 
Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. Dustin Following the touchdown, Hopkins. Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Here's Dante Pettis on the return. And able to get this out to the 25. Washington will take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It's taken to the 26. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. Dak and the Cowboys ready for their next possession. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Playing well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. On first and 10, Prescott. This one caught left side by Cooper. Prescott. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. And he's going to have the first down as they move into field goal range here at the 25-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Prescott yet again. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And the lead increases even further. It's 27 to nothing now. Washington, nothing. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, all right, Brandon, thank you very much. Hi again, everyone. 
Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the NFL as we are officially into the second half of the season. We'll get started up at Lucas Oil Stadium in the capital city of Indianapolis. And it's the Colts who have the lead in that one. Two touchdown passes there for Jameis Winston. From there, we head down south to Atlanta. To check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And you can see they trail in that matchup against the Tampa Bay Bucks. The Bucks seem to be on their way to what would be a good victory. Lastly, let's head up to the Twin Cities to check in on the Vikings at home in Minneapolis. And you can see there, it's the visiting LA Rams who have the lead in that one. The Rams trying to finish that one off and claim victory. In the game you're watching, you've seen a strong first half out of Dak Prescott. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Washington takes over first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the gun, it's Haskins. They'll find Everett there, complete. Haskins. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. That's a gain of 10. Brings up third. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Taylor. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. So from the 36 now, first and 10. You can't block me. You can't block me. Out of the shotgun, Haskins. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Coverage on the play by Trayvon. On second down now. It's Taylor. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there, first down. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. From the gun, Haskins. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Haskins pass. Three yards the game there, second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And that is incomplete. Not sure what you're thinking here, partner, but I believe the officials have done a nice job here getting together and then coming out and indicating that there was a receiver in the area. Absolutely, and he was in the area. Correct call made, no grounding. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 38-yard line. 
what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that they're very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Here's Taylor. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Taylor, the ball carrier. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second They go to the ground again with Taylor. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Ball carrier. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. No gain nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. And that will wind up just short. He had it on line. It ran out of gas at the end. And this score will stay right where it is. The Cowboys offense now. They head out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here. Didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Elliott. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. At the 47 yard line. One yard gain. Brings up second and nine. Now Prescott. Looking left side. He's got it complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine yard line. 38 yard line. First down. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Prescott. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. It's but on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Down, well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game, and this continues as we see here. Coverage, not been very good. Soft in spots. And there's an easy throw and catch for another first down. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. Now Elliott. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two yard line. From the two now, second and goal. A pickup of two brings up second and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with his third touchdown so far. Number 13 now on the year. And this offense continues to pour it on.
Well, three scores in this game. I think that deserves some type of a broad gesture. I know in hockey, that's called a hat trick, and people throw their hats out on the ice. What about us? What can we do for this guy? Well, if I'm his teammates, I'm buying him a little steak dinner tonight, right? At least a skirt steak, probably a filet. Oh, you're going big. I like that. Yeah, I mean, skirt at I minimum, mean, skirt filet steak. at Come maximum. On. You can't give the guy a skirt steak. That's he true. Filet, three times. filet. There you go. 10 oh, ounce. 16 ounce. Porterhouse. Fine. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. That time, a nine-play drive, and it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Dustin Following the touchdown, Hopkins. Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Pettis now on the return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Washington will take over first and ten. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. Well, let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Start the drive, has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Haskins. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. And it's incomplete. Well, the passing game right now for them, not overly impressive. Last week, he hit on right at 50%. This week, he's under 50%. And it's not just on him. Protection, a few breakdowns along the way. That's made him get off the spot. Receivers not getting their way open downfield. The coverage has been awfully tight. They've got to all get together and find ways to make this passing game get in gear. 13 yards there at a Washington first. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. On the draw is Taylor. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Throw right side complete to Carter. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and ten. But look what we have here, a sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. But right now, they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Here's second and one now from the seven. 55. The give to Taylor. 
And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. Now Haskins. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. They'll run with Taylor. And he fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Jonathan Taylor, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And Washington able to cut into that deficit. In as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And the lead drops from 34 to 27. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taking it about the one. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Please take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Still well in control of this ball game, despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. They keep on the ground with Elliott. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Final minute now of the third quarter. At the 42-yard line. On second down, Elliott. And he's going to get this all the way down to Washington's 24-yard line. Eight. A big run that time by Elliott. And even 50 yards. And I was just reminded on that carry, he went over 16,000 career yards, so he is now about 700 away from Walter Payton for second place all time. Man, that's rare air. I'm just telling you, the oxygen there, I would need a tank. <laughs> you would need one. He's up there doing it all on his own, walking with the greats. Phenomenal, phenomenal accomplishment. Man, he still looks good doing it. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Intercepted. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. At 
the 19-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the gun, Haskins firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he's going to be ripped down by the face mask at the end of this. And that's going to add 15 more onto the end of this thing. Tack on 15 more for the face mask. And that becomes a huge play. Big pass gets caught on you. You're doing everything possible to get him on the ground. And sometimes you end up grabbing the face mask. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Operating from the gun. Haskins looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up second and a yard. Taylor. At the Cowboys, 15. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Jonathan Taylor. That's good for a Washington. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. 13-yard line. From the gun, Haskins. That is caught at the seven yard line. Down to the six yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far and it's cost them. Washington on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and five. Operating from the gun, Haskins. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Demarcus Lawrence has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Well, for last week's performance, which was so good, he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He got a lot of praise, and understandably so, from national media. Looking pretty good on that play, too. And I love what he told us this week before the game. He talked about how much time they spend working on pass rush moves every position because anyone could go after the quarterback in their defense and you can see how they've all absorbed their lessons so fourth and 15 but the offense is staying out there to go for it they'll try and throw forward with Haskins and this is going to be intercepted able to get there and pick it by the this spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. We find ourselves here in the midst of a one-sided affair. A lot of a lot of fill time down the stretch, Mr. Davis. So we could talk about food because that is something that you and I we, both we, enjoy. We, share we, that. we enjoy our time at the table. So maybe the best steakhouses in the city, but in all seriousness, the performances that we've seen this year.
We've seen a bunch of great ones, and it's going to be hard to parse who's going to win the MVP. Yeah, it really is. Is it going to be a runner? Is it going to be a thrower? Can a defender finally win it this season? Those are the things that we could probably discuss. And collectively, this is about as dominant of a performance as you could have hoped for on both sides of the football. You might have to put it number one for what we've seen this season. Give them three yards and a fresh set of downs. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. So first and 10 now from the 30. This is Elliott. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Eight yards on the pickup brings up second Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. To the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 38-yard line. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Here's Elliott. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Emmanuel Agba there on the stop. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now third down is looming, a pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points. But this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Washington takes over first and 10. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. Haskins in the Washington offense going to come up here first and 10 at their own 27. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. They'll contain him to just four, second down. At the 32-yard line. From the gun, Haskins working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. Gerald. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Haskins will throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. 
Again, it's Haskins. And yet again, Haskins is intercepted. Third time. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. The 20. 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. The kick is good. And he knocks it through. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Dustin Hopkins. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Dante Pettis on the return. Washington will take over first and 10. At their the own defense team. for the Cowboys getting set to go. Haskins into Washington offense going to come up here first and 10 at their own 24. Back to the air, Haskins after the pick six. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. For Jonathan Taylor, incomplete. Brings up from the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. To throw again. Haskins. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Washington on third down, not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and nine. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off near the 42. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. The utter domination here just continues. This defense, I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. Well, it certainly feels, in this game, like maybe they're facing a Canadian defense. 12 guys on the field. <laughs> it feels like there's an extra on every snap because they have really struggled to make headway through the air. Amari Cooper and the Cowboys set to take over once again. And we get a peek at the kind of game he's having. It's been a good game. Eight catches now, Charles. Everyone likes to spread the ball around. They want a lot of people to catch it and touch it, get a lot of guys involved. But sometimes when you have the hot hand or a person who's just really taking care of business in their part of the field, you have to keep going back to him. Tackle made by Chase Young. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Again, it's Elliott. Elliott a first down and more. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Brings up second and two. Throwing. Prescott. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. On the option, here's Elliott. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, business as usual for them. Well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. Here's
Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Five plays there on that drive. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Pettis now on the return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Washington takes over first and 10. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, so you know, when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something <laughs> to make it pass, and that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. It's now second and six. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Incomplete. Coverage on the play. By third down. Here's Haskins. And yeah, that will be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he'll get this up over the 25 and the 26. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Brings up second and two. They go to Elliott again. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Dallas, the train just keeps rolling. Nine.